Hi everybody, welcome back to another tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you how you can edit MetaHuman expressions with a free plugin, official MetaHuman Maya plugin. Previously, we released the installation tutorial in our channel. If you didn't check it, please check it. So let's continue from there. Let's open Maya and this is 5.6 MetaHuman that we created before. Let's go to MetaHuman tab and open expression editor. In here, it asks for a DNA file, which you need to export it from Unreal Engine. So also, you need to open Unreal Engine and you need to find your MetaHuman. Just double click on the MetaHuman creator file and then go to MetaHuman character and click on save DNA. So save the DNA to outside. You can also save the body DNA as well, but for now, face is enough. So let's go back to Maya and just search for that DNA file and import it inside here. Just search it and our DNA is loaded. You can also attach it to the scene as well by going to Outliner, Display and Uncheck DAG Objects Only and go for Search and type RL4 and go find Head RL4 Embedded and inside here you can change your Head DNA. You can also change your body DNA as well in here, as you can see. But inside RL4 Embedded, just go to DNA File Path and click on Browse and change it with your DNA file like this. Next, now we can edit Natural Pose, Skin Weights and Expression Poses. I won't cover these two right now because I didn't check them yet, but I checked Expression Poses. And also I see that there is an export option. I also didn't check it yet, but probably you will be able to export all of them to Unreal back, I guess, I don't know. Go to expression poses and this is all of our expressions. I know it looks messy, but we can find what we want. So let's explore what we have. As you can see, we have some names and also there's a search bar that you can find specific shapes. How you can find any shape inside here because these are very complicated. So there's a solution for that. Go to sculpting and go open shape editor. Inside shape editor, as you can see, there are too many blend shapes. So these are exact same names with those ones. There is brow lateral and also here is brow lateral. So let's edit jaw open shape. Also, let's show all of the joints. Go to show and viewport and enable this joint. For the lower versions of Maya, you may find it directly inside this panel, but it is inside show. Go to viewport and click on joints. So this is our pose. You can also check the name here. So we activated this controller and just go search for an activated blend shape. And here we find it here. This is Joe Open. It's called Joe Open. You can copy this name and close it and paste it inside here. Joe Open. It locates it automatically. So this is it. This is our shape and let's edit it. In here we have some buttons but when we click on this green button which is edit selected expressions you will get a warning and nothing will happen you cannot move it you cannot change it okay so how we can change it you need to assemble this character first so go to assemble scene and click on this small button assemble scene and it asks that should we create a new scene? Yes. So this is a new scene. And right now you cannot select anything in here. You can only select this controllers. Okay, so this is Java open shape and I want to change it. Go here and click on edit selected expressions. And this will automatically open this shape. So right now let's move it. So I want this, maybe this. Just a random change. I don't want to spend time on it, but I want to show you 
how it works. I also want to move some other joints. And also, as you can see, you cannot change some of the joints because they are not activated with this controller. These are not in the list. You cannot edit those, but you can edit those ones. You can see, you can do this kind of shape. Next, you can stop recording. Click on this button and let's test it. And it works. So currently, I have no idea how I go back to the previous scene, but I know that you can export the DNA file and you can use it inside the main Maya scene. Also, you can, you can use it inside Unreal Engine. So I want to use it inside Unreal Engine to see the chains. Also, I already showed you how you can change the DNA file inside Maya. Just go here and type RL4 and change the DNA file path. That's all. Let's close it and let's save the DNA. So before save our DNA file, we need to update the scene and also update the DNA. Go to this little button. It says update metahuman DNA from scene. Just click on this button first and it says, do you want to continue? Yes. And just save it to any place you want. And it saves everything. Go back to Unreal Engine and again, we created this character before on another tutorials. So I won't cover character creation in here. Just close this and open your MetaHuman folder and click on face and you will find your face mesh. All you need to do is, this is skeletal face mesh, by the way. This is not a MetaHuman character or blueprint or anything. This is just a skeletal face mesh. Just right click on this file and go to metahuman DNA and import new DNA file and import your new DNA and let's save this and just open it directly and go to animation change the character to your character and this is the animation file and then we go to the Java open pose here is our new pose it is exactly same with the Maya scene and that is exactly how you edit your metahuman expressions. For the other joints, it is all same process. And that's it. Till next time, good luck with your metahumans and bye.